on this channel, we love engines and anything that can further engine technology. Now the other day I was reading through articles and I came across this really interesting new technology that is supposed to replace your conventional poppet valves with a new spherical rotary valve train. Now if videos like this pique your interest, why don't you subscribe? It's free and if you later decide you don't like me, you can always unsub. Also watch this video till the end because at the end there's a little twist to the whole story. Anyways, before we get into this new technology, let's first talk about conventional engines and how they work and how we got to where we are today. Over the years, engines have undergone remarkable advancements, with the valve train playing a critical role in power generation. Conventional engines utilize poppet valves and cams to control airflow and combustion within the cylinders. So how it works in most engines is the poppet valves act as the primary means of controlling the intake and exhaust process. These valves are opened and closed by camshafts, which are synchronized to the engine's rotation and controlled by a timing belt or chain. The camshafts have lobes that press against the valve stems, lifting them from their seats to allow the intake or exhaust gases to enter or exit the combustion chamber. This synchronized action coordinated with the engine's rotation ensures precise timing and optimal performance. But they aren't perfect. You see, although the conventional valve trains have served the automotive industry well, they have inherited limitations that restrict their performance potential. These limitations include airflow restrictions, limited valve lift and duration, and high operating temperatures. As a result, conventional engines face challenges in achieving high compression ratios and maximizing efficiency. However, the Coty Spherical Rotary Valve engine represents a groundbreaking leap forward in valving systems, boasting unparalleled breathing capabilities and efficiency. You see, this advanced engine utilizes a unique valve system based on two spherical rotary valves mounted on separate shafts, one for the inlet and one for the exhaust. Now, one of the most striking advantages of the Coty's spherical rotary valve engine is its exceptional breathing capabilities. As I said previously, comparative tests have demonstrated that the engine can achieve nearly double the airflow of a conventional poppet valve engine. For instance, a 5-liter poppet valve engine recorded a reading of 133 cubic feet per minute when fully opened, while the Coty spherical rotary valve engine of the same displacement achieved a reading of 319, an extraordinary advantage in airflow performance. And remember, with engines, the more air you have, the more power you can make. That's why forced induction is a thing. So, how exactly does this thing work? While the Coty spherical rotary valve engine operates under distinct parameters that contribute to its superior efficiency, the valves rotate away from the combustion chamber, venting and charging on the opposite side of each sphere. This design also effectively lowers the combustion chamber temperature, enabling the use of higher compression ratios. Compression ratios of 12 to 1, 13 to 1, 14 to 1 and even 15 to 1 have been achieved depending on the application, further enhancing the engine's efficiency. Now, you might wonder how does this thing seal, and also what stops it from wearing? Well, the spherical rotary valves operate on ceramic carbon bearings, eliminating the need for oil lubrication. They do not make contact with any part of the housing, thereby minimizing friction and wear. The valves are equipped with floating-type ceramic seals and two-piston rings housed in small cylinder-type chambers activated by the compression and combustion stroke. These seals ensure 100% sealing effectiveness when compressed, promoting optimal combustion efficiency. Now all of this adds up to better performance. Out of your engine, you see the Coty Spherical Rotary Valve Engine's exceptional design and unique operating parameters result in extraordinary performance figures. Comparative tests conducted on a dynameter have shown significant advantages over conventional engines. The same 5-liter engine we talked about earlier, a small block Ford poppet valve engine operated under the same loads and condition produced 260 horsepower and 249 foot-pounds of torque on the dyno at 5,500 rpm. In contrast, the Coty spherical rotary valve engine reached an astonishing 480 horsepower and 454 foot-pounds of torque. Furthermore, according to the company themselves, the lack of valve train limitations allowed the engine to spin all the way up to 14,750 rpm. Now all of this comes with a caveat. So when I make a video, I delve deep into tech as well as the companies. Most of the hype around this technology came from 2008 and it seemed to die off by around 2013. 
but the company does still exist and operate. However, I can't find any other engines running on this technology, apart from the first Ford small block. So it seems like the company hasn't been doing much since back then. Another thing I want to say is many people that had invested in the company when the hype is high share that all of their shares are now worthless. And this is sad. People have such a love for engines. And when we invest in certain companies, we hope to further the internal combustion engine as a whole. And then you get people that seem to use that love against us. Now, I'm not saying for certain that this company is a scam, but it does seem like they developed an engine technology that was great on paper. And after they got the investments, the reality was that it wasn't so good. And rather than coming out and saying, hey, this shit won't work, they just stayed quiet and kind of disappeared. Anyways, let me know down below what you guys think and do any of you guys know more that I might have missed. If you do, please let me know down below. Maybe I'll make a part two. If it's not like, like a whole bunch of info, I might just like pin your comment. Yeah, but let me know what you guys thought of the video. If you did like it, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, And if you did like this video, you'll probably like my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.